need to have a blueprint at all? We had a watershed management plan. Why couldn't we just move forward with that? It said create a greenway. It said manage flows effective, effectively. It said engage residents and community and get everyone to do what they're supposed to do to take responsibility for their actions. Why do we need to go here? Well, because it didn't give enough detail. It gave the, the strategic direction to move in that, in that way. But when it came down to a lot by lot basis, when it came down to a municipal planner sitting and looking at this, this new development that's coming across their desk, they still didn't know, is this where we try to create a greenway? Is this where we make an attempt to get this creek out of a pipe? Is this where we want to try and increase the right of way so that in 27 years we might be able to open this section up? So it didn't give that level of detail. And as a result, it really stymied the, the municipal staff in, in terms of implementing because the representative on the committee couldn't answer those questions, and the committee couldn't answer those questions. So we decided that we, we really needed to get those details down on paper to give the municipalities a, a real detailed plan of how do we fix this creek and how do we fix this watershed so that they could then take the pieces out and say, Okay, this year we've got we've got some money budgeted, we've got time budgeted. That's going to happen for us this year. In another municipality, it might be at a different time. Um, and it also really provides a vision and and I think some guidance to the community and and to the municipalities as to how they can change what's happening, how we're planning and developing <coughs> in an urban environment over the long term, and again, long term, long term, 100 years. <laughs>